Hey everyone, so I'm going to talk a bit today about the 19-day ritual in Enochian, what it is, what it's used for, how you might consider structuring it. So a little bit of background about Enochian magic and the tradition it's coming from. Obviously, we're talking about a Christian system, so whatever tradition you're practicing Enochian from, it's fair to recognize that it very much is a Christ Christian in origin, which is not to say you have to be a Christian to operate it far from it. But I'm just putting that out there so you, so we can think about the context. So, because the context is about one of reconciliation, right? So the whole idea of original sin, and I know a lot of people have been made to feel extraordinarily guilty about who they are, the mistakes they've made, ways in which they feel terrible. And that's not the whole point of sin, in my view. The whole point of sin is just recognizing that we are not like God in the sense that we are, may have been made in the image of God, but we are not God. We are a part of this creation, and we are a part of the whole. But God himself is in and within and is the whole, right? So we, as individual human beings, are going to be prone to errors in understanding, errors in who and what we think we are, because we don't have the entire context, whereas God does. So one of the whole points of Enochian is to help us get reconciled with God and gain a more direct and experiential understanding of who and what we are. And this is something I come back to over and over again, particularly with the Aethers, is that it's a system to find out exactly who and what you are and to strip away those misconceptions that you have about what you used to think you are, right? So ideally you will be able to let go of those and it's okay to do that, you know? It's okay to be wrong, <gasps> you know? <laughs> let me tell you, I've been wrong about a lot of things and it's okay, it, it's what makes you human. But it's also part of the grand promise of the universe and of the divine that you then get reconciled with God so God can show you, maybe not as God, but you can have that union with God and that understanding, okay, I'm part of this huge whole, intimately connected, inseparable from it. So that's a wonderful thing. That's a very profound thing to not only sort of intellectually get it, but emotionally get it and have it go right into the heart that way, right? That's a, it's a beautiful thing. And everything else you might think about when it comes to death or, you know, you know, heartbreak or anything like that, it all just sort of dissolves, okay? Now, so that's the whole background, right? It's about reconciliation. So the whole idea of Enochian specifically is a series of reconciling steps, right? We reconcile with the angels so that we can sort of maybe get closer to their level. I'm not saying at their level, notice I didn't say that, but but reconcile, you know, heaven with earth and humanity with the angels and maybe to a large extent with the divine himself or itself or whatever you want to say herself. I'm not big on gender when it comes to uh, conceptually... Um, difficult things to put our to wrap our heads around ineffable things to put our to put our wrap our heads around around but you get the idea so so there's a series of steps the first one is that we are sort of acknowledging god's wonder working capacities so the name pele used in enochian is one of the hebrew names of names of god that is basically means marvel wonder worker wonder worker something like that right another name uh, another thing that we do so we start with that we start with the ring which basically has that name right on it pele and within it are the name are the letters u and l now u l you could also you could uh the the enochian letter is van and that can either be the letters u v or w right based on like latin equivalency and pronunciation wise too if you if you actually spell out Enochian words and the angels say how that's pronounced, stuff like that. So that could be, therefore, the word wonderful, which is sort of right in the middle of that circle, 
of the Pele ring, but also the Enochian word ulsenin means happy. And so we get this idea of wonders, but also we develop this happiness because we know who and what we are. And we're happy to, to be a part of this wonderful creation, this wonderful universe, and also we're happy to share you know, and to, to help other people be happy. And we're actually reconciled that way, right? Somebody who is reconciled is basically <laughs> as reconciled with the divine as you can get, right? Is, is happy as a result, right? So, sorry about that. That hangnail was going to bother me the rest of the video. So, okay. So we have this idea of a series of reconciliations. So one is you have the ring, first acknowledging God first and foremost, then we have a holy table that we build, which reconciles heaven and earth. And that's actually, you know, part of the whole transmission. And then we have this idea of a laman that reconciles us, human beings, with the holy table, right? Holy table reconciles heaven and earth. We're reconciled with the holy table. We can get stuff going and get stuff, get stuff done as a result. So what happens next? Well, the next step is basically... You know, let's say you've gotten your, you've got, you've done this initial reconciliation. You've gotten the things that you are showing you, the angels that you are serious. You're also sort of subconsciously imprinting these symbols and their arrangement in your mind. And you're doing the same thing again with the holy table and with the sigillum, all of these things, right? So let's say you build out as much of this furniture, including the banners and all of that, and you've got, a lot of it, maybe not all, maybe not all, all of it, but most of it built out. So the 19 day ritual would be, it's specifically aimed at the watchtower tablets or the great table, depending on which you build and, or, and including stuff like the seals and stuff like that. But then the 19 day ritual is built is specifically aimed towards the watchtower tablets, right? And it kind of makes sense that the angels would say, okay, look, of all the things we want you to, to reconcile your, yourself with, we really want you to reconcile with these elements, these four elements, because the Watchtower tablets have been associated with the elements, fire, air, water, and earth. And we would really like it if you were especially <laughs> reconciled with those, because that's where, that's sort of the stuff that here on Terra, T-E-R-R-A, here on planet Earth, that's where these elements are, have sort of done their thing coming down through the zodiac and through the planets and then have landed here on Earth. And it's really good humanity if you reconcile yourself with these things that have come down into creation, right? So now, but notice that it's the angelic forces of these creation of this creation. So the angelic kings, the angelic princes, the angelic cherubs and stuff like that. These are the angels who are over top of those. So it's not specifically the, some of the higher levels. These are sort of very close to ground, close to planet Earth <clears throat> forces. And it's really good for us to actually start there or to specifically get ourselves reconciled with them. So, okay. So that's like one thing. Now, notice that I, at no point did I say you cannot also do or include other angels within this, right? Maybe the heptarchical angels, maybe the zodiacal kings who are governors over the aethers, stuff like that. So these are things that, you know, as you become a magician, there's sort of what's said, but then there's a question of, well, what is forbidden? And if it's not forbidden, would it be wise to include it? These are things that as you, as you develop spiritually, it's like, okay, ask yourself these questions, right? What else can I do? Can I make us a little change, right? One of the great changes to me is the fact that aethers, you can do top down or bottom up, okay? So the actual structure of this, it isn't too bad, but I am going to go and, and do a couple of unorthodox things just to show you that. So that was one of the things is, is basically consider how you might include the heptarchy and notice that there are a lot of angels in the heptarchy. How much time do you have on your hands? Stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't probably 
put off too long a ritual because based on how many angels you want to honor and to request that they walk close to you, stuff like that. But because this is an overview, but I do want to get you thinking about that. And if you're either in, doing Enochian or you're, you, but you haven't done this ritual yet, yet, or you've done it already, give it some thought, right? And this is something that, you know, your practice is going to evolve as you go. Okay, so let's actually get into it. So how does this work? Well, the first day of the 19-day ritual, you're supposed to make a book of supplications. So you're going to write out, you're going to make physical your intent by writing a book of prayers to God, okay? But how should that be structured? Are you just going to say, dear God, etc.? Well, that's obviously a thing that you would do, but you should obviously plan ahead because the angels had a specific order that they wanted you to do this in, okay? A specific structure. But the rest of it is actually left unclear, so it's up to you. So let's talk about this. So the first day, as I said, you're going to do this, you're going to write a book of supplications, and this is something that John D did, and it's a beautiful thing. You can find it online. I want to say it's um, his, his invocation is what he specifically it's called. Okay, so that's one day, and obviously I forgot to put this first. By the way, a lot of this is going to come from an archive that I'll put in the notes of Studio Arcanus. And I think this will fit. Yes, it will. But I'll put that in the notes as well. It used to be .com. I think it's gone now, but I'll, f I'll put it in the web archive because I had to look that up. I had to update a couple of things as a result of that. So this is what happens when you do a blog. You need to like constantly check to make sure the links are still working. So anyway, the first day is a book of supplication. The next four days are prayers, days of prayer to God. Now, you could probably do this three times a day, something like that, right? You could pray maybe once in the morning, once in the e at noon, and once in the evening. Sunrise, noon, sunset. So the watchtower names of God are the particular days of prayer. So on the first day, you might pray, dear God, whose name in Enochian obviously is Oro, and then at noon, you would say Iba. And then at night, you would say, dear God, whose name is Auspi, and so on and so forth. And you can note that you can point yourself in a direction to make these prayers. Oro, Iba, Auspi. You could point yourself to the east to make this prayer each day. And then to the south to make the prayer to these names of God, etc., etc. So that's what these four days are for. They're not supposed to be anything else. So, And I wrote Book of Supplications there, because why not? <laughs> I wrote it twice, sorry. But anyway, this is how you would structure your book of supplications is, let me say, okay, oh God, who's, you know, in the East is known as this, please, et cetera, et cetera. Please allow something like, you know, the next, the additional angels who I'm going to list here in a second. Please allow that I may speak with them in fullness, however you want to word this, right? But you're calling on these names of God partly to enable and allow and to, I mean, technically command, right? God is saying to these angels, okay, you know, you're asking God, please tell them to do this, because this is the higher authority. This is, you know, again, let's face it, it's pretty hierarchical. So, okay, so then what do we have next? We have 14 days. So you're going to call on the Watchtower Angels using calls 3 through, the thir through 18, and there are 64 cherubs and 64 lesser, so-called lesser angels, because there are 16 of each kind, so each, or 16 of each uh, associated power, and each, the cherubs and the lesser angels, there are six, there are four powers associated with the cherubs and four powers associated with the lesser angels, right? But you're also going to use calls one and two, which are spoken. Now, there are known to be four kings as well as 24 elders, there are also supposed to be 20 princes, but we do not get information about them in the diaries. Now, I'm going to give you information here that is what I've seen in vision. So note that here I have a question mark, and a question mark often means verify. <laughs> I'm going to put a big exclamation point here because I do not have... It's important that as, as magicians that we are able to verify each other's work. So I'm never just going to say, well, I saw this in vision, and so therefore you should do it, <laughs> right? Instead, I'm just going to say, look, I got these names of these princes. Please, if you are watching this, please verify it for me. So 
Okay, these are the names of the princes that I got in Vision, right? Now, four of each, so this, this is divided out across the four elements. So four of these princes per direction or element, they have eight letter names, and then the last one had 10 for each of these, right? So I'll go ahead and stick these names in the description so you don't have to look them up. But my caution to you is, hey, look up whether or not these are actually working for you, whether or not you're getting, you know, the usual good vibes, verifiable information, etc. Before, you know, you say, please, you know, appear and plea and basically imprint these names within your system. And by the way, th that the whole idea here of partly of just making the table making or purchasing a LAM and that sort of thing is to imprint these symbols in a particular order. And so, and basically you're allowing that your connection to these angels is better and stronger. Does that mean it replaces the furniture? I don't think so, to be honest with you. I could probably do a call to Lil Anywhere, which is a very strong and powerful one. I would much rather do it closer to the furniture. So, uh, because you're basically getting very strong and powerful vibes that way. That's not to say we couldn't do it or that, it, but I also don't want to say, well, I'm just going to, you know, tempt fate, right? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to push my luck. I'm not going to push the grace. If you want to get real theological, I'm not going to, to, to put the Lord thy God to the test, right? So, and that's partly why I'm saying verify this stuff, because if you just accept something, then you want to, yeah, I'm a human being. It's okay to put me and my experiences to the test because who knows, right? So, okay. So we've got a bunch of angels here. We've got 64 caribs, 64 so-called lesser angels. I'm just using the golden dawn shorthand for that. They're not necessarily lesser, but they weren't given another name. And then we have seniors or elders as they're sometimes called and also kings perhaps also names of God. I don't, I'm, I really think that they're actually just very high level angels. And finally, we have some princes who it's up to you if, as to whether or not you want to include it. So with 14 days, how do we go about doing this? Well, let me just give you an overview and then I'll circle back to considering stuff like the Heptarchy and the Zodiacal Kings. So the question is which days for which angels? And it must add up to 14 days. you got to divide, figure out how to divide these watch tower angels out. Now, option one, and this would be in particular, uh, if you do not include the uh, princes, sorry, I'll, I'll angle it the same way. I'll be consistent. Uh, you could do it as follows. If you don't include the princes, you could include... I've got a little thing going on here. Anyway, um, if you don't include the princes, you can say, okay, I'm going to call on one, I'm going to start by calling one of the kings per day, right? Start at the top. You've already, you've called God, so then you're working your way down to the kings. So day one, you would call Batiiva. Day two, you would call Regiosol, etc. Then you move on to the elders. Now there are 24 elders. Or I have that somewhere here. Mm, here we go. 24 elders. <laughs> so you can call on the elders and you could say, okay, I'm going to call on four elders a day. So you would basically say, I'm going to call uh, the, the elder, and I'll just show this really briefly here. So the elders here, they would start uh, something like this. Like, let's say, uh, I'll start, make it even easier to say, okay, you know, Sai Nov, right? So you would say, okay, I'm going to do this, this one that goes from here to the vertical. I'm going to call this one. And I'm going to do that one as well as the four other angels who are also derived or visible or seeable from this exact middle cross of the Watchtower tablet. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do the same thing for the Fire tablet, the same thing for the Water, and the same thing for the Earth. And I'm going to do all of that. So that way, every day, I'm going to do four elders in a day. I'm going to call on them that way. And you do that for six days until all 24 of them have been called. And then you could say, okay, I'm going to call on 16 caribs and 16 
so-called lesser angels per day. Now that's a lot, but really it's it their names are kind of variations on the same thing over and over again for a lot of them but really you just like read down a list right it's like if you go into a classroom you take attendance something like that obviously these are angels so they're above you but you would just say oh you know i'm, I'm calling on you angels of medicine of the east you angels of medicine of whatever right so you would call them you know you angels of medicine and the angels of transportation, something like that. So at any rate, you need to figure out how to divide this out for yourself. I'm not going to like spoon this, feed this to you. But here we've got east, south, west, and north. So my recommendation would be to group them according to direction, right? So, you know, 16 from the fire, 16 from the fire. Then the next day, 16 from the air, 16 from the air, etc., etc. Or you could, con you could, if you're doing this by direction, you'd say 16 angels from the east, caribs, and then another 16 lesser angels from the east, so on and so forth, until you hit 64 each, right? And then you notice here, six, 4 plus 6 plus 4 is 14 days, and you would be done, okay? Now, another option would be, what happens if you include the princes? Okay, these princes who I mentioned over here, whose names I gave you and who I will include in the notes. Well, if you decide to do that, if you work with these and you're getting the same good vibes from them and you're, you're, they have proven to be, you know, they're from, they're, they are from the watchtowers, I'll say that much, but you've decided, okay, I'm pretty comfortable including them and imprinting them on my system. Then another option would be four kings, do all four kings in one day. And then the next one would be do four of these princes, let's say, Retort, Doag's Pisca, Tedo Mold, and Buaxok Zod. You would do four, day, four of those a day for five days because you have 20, right? So then you would do those more or less by location. Then the six elders a day, you would do, you'd say, okay, I'm going to do all six of these air tablets in one day, south, right, southern uh, in a day. Then I'm going to do the next ones, you know, and so on and so forth. You would probably start with fire as usual, right? And then the last one, you do the same thing as I mentioned up here. Do 16 carobs and 16 so-called lesser angels a day for four days, and then you would have, notice that all this adds up to 14 days as well. So that is, strictly speaking, all that you would need, depending on whether or not you believe that the princes that I've laid out here are workable, that's up to you, okay? This is sort of what, you know, this all fall, these princes all fall under Neo-Enochiana, right? Or Enochian. It's like, okay, this is my direct experience, but somebody else needs to verify this, please, right? And see what effects you get. And I've done this for um, another uh, magician, I'm trying to remember his name, Dean, eh, I'm forgetting his name. Oh, well, this is what I get for doing it on fly. Look it up, look him up, Dean, Enoki, and all that. Now, you might consider, if you're doing this, depending on, like I say, on how much time you have, you might consider adding additional angels. Now, the number 42 divides rather nicely into this. So one of the things I'll say is we've got a couple of nice divisions here. We have six kings and seven princes, so you could do, technically, one of these a day. You could also add in the 42 ministers. Now, previously I did say there were six ministers, but really there's variations on each of these, right? So, for example, Lee Narb, who's one of the angels of the sun, who's underneath uh, King Bobagel, this is one of them, but technically that same name is also Bleenar, okay? So there's variations within this name. So technically it's, it's the same name, but there's a variation, and that variation on the name means it's another minister. And there are seven in all, right? Because you have seven letters, so if you just keep transposing that, that's what you get. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to structure the rest. I've already sort of laid out the issues here that you need to consider. But basically, you get 343 uh, if you have kings, 
Princes, this is from the Heptarchy. Kings, that's an S. And then you have uh, Kings, Princes, and Governors. All of these in the Heptarchy. which equals 7 to the third. So 343 of those, I'm trying to make that clear. I'm a little OCD about my numbers being clear. So 343. Uh, but then you also have uh, 42 ministers overall. But really, it's it's even more because each of this, you also multiply times seven, right? So you get 294 ministers overall. So you add that in, but then you also have a high king who is Karmara and, uh, oops, excuse me, Haganel. Prince Haganel, who's the High Prince, who is also, by the way, over the Sons of Sons of Light and the Sons of Sons of Light, but not the daughters. Don't know why. So anyway, these two, you could add that in, plus there's also 42 ministers for them. So you can see here that <laughs> there's a lot going on here. So if you were to technically add all of this up, 343 and 294 and 42 plus these two. You get a very large number, which is one, carry one, you get 18, carry one, you get 681 angels in the heptarchical system. How you may or may not choose to include them <laughs> in this whole thing, that is up to you. But also note that there are zodiacal kings, there are 12 of those, who are also governors. And there are also additional angels such as uh, Gazave, G-A-Z-A-V-A-A. -A -A. And additional angels you could pull out that way by, by using that same pattern that that name was come from, uh, came from to, to, I'm losing it here, one second. You could, uh, that you could follow that same pattern in the watchtowers to get that angel's to get three additional angel names. And you can also, if you really want to get hardcore, you can look at the initial 343 letter cross with the seven by seven, the seven, seven by seven tables in there. <laughs> so how big do you want to go? <laughs> I mean, if you're just, we're in the intermediate level, right? I mean, this is where I've, I'm, I'm throwing stuff out there and I'm answering fewer and fewer questions. <laughs> so, but the main deal is, the main takeaways are, it's up to you, right? And you can try not to go overboard because you eventually want to get things done. You want to have done rituals so that you are attuning your, yourself more. It's more important to do the things that the angels have asked you. And instead of waiting until you get all an entire massive plan going, I mean, maybe that'll only take you a day. Maybe it'd take you only an hour to figure that out. Clearly, I've spent some time doing this. It would probably take me an afternoon, maybe two, to think it through. But I'm throwing all of this out there just so you, you can think about it. So, okay, that's it for this one. I am going to come in with one other short video, <laughs> mercifully short, some of you will probably say. But this is, a, this is we're at the 200 level, right? We're getting more into the intermediate stuff. So I know I'm kind of labeling this like, like their classes, and it's just, just for fun and just a way to sort of keep myself organized. Like, okay, if I were just starting this, where would I want to, <laughs> what would be considered what level of, of workings? And this is just me, right? I mean, somebody else are going to be like, this isn't important, or you should really add in this. And I'd, I'd be like, I haven't even heard of this other thing. So anyway, okay, I'm going to add in one more thing, just a quick talk on the uh, ministers having to do with the moon. And that'll be it for me today. So two videos, maybe I'll have to split this into, into two parts. We'll see. Okay, bye.